Yo, <laughs> 11 pounds. I can't believe it. Woke up this morning, stepped on the scale, 182. I was like, yes, yes, 11 pounds. <laughs> and really, three days, because today is day four. It's freaking awesome. I'm just like so excited. So, grab my snake juice. I'm actually drinking it warm this morning. I just heated up. A cup of Avion and I added some pink Himalayan salt and potassium chloride to it. Now you can always add a bunch more stuff to it if you want, but I'm just keeping it simple today. Okay, so I'm gonna run you guys through my first four days of fasting. So we started on Thursday and I went to work that day. I got up at four in the morning like I usually do and I went ahead and mixed me up some snake juice a couple of cans of sparkling water with me too because I watched a video where Cole which Cole Robinson if you don't know him he's the inventor of the snake diet if you don't know Cole go ahead and check him out um, check out his channel the snake diet um, now I'm gonna warn you though that he got a mouth on him so if you don't like cussing and swearing and honesty and directness don't watch him there's a couple of other youtubers out there that are following his plan and you know sharing their advice okay so day one i went to work and i, I drank my my uh, snake juice and i felt fine i honestly didn't really um feel hungry till about three o'clock i just told my body to just go on and eat the fat that's on you you got all kind of thigh meat and stomach and back fat you can eat so I just really felt focused and strong and ready to do it and I think just watching a bunch of his videos and Michelle and I discussing it and talking about how we really want to do this um, and I really want to do this with my sister and support her so that definitely helped me along the way too and helped me get through that day so I realized and this is what I did the next day on my second day um, cause when I got home, I did have a major headache and I wasn't feeling good. In fact, I had filmed a little clip. Hey guys. So it's like 6.30. First day of my fast and I definitely have a headache. Not hungry. The hunger today wasn't bad. I realized that I have to take in more salt, which honestly I knew that because doing a ketogenic diet, I was always freaking thirsty and had dry mouth and I realized that I needed just a lot more salt. You know, we know that in the keto world. Okay, so my second day when I woke up in the morning, I, I was still kind of feeling that headache and I knew and I had my mouth was really dry and even when I was sleeping that night, uh, my mouth kind of was open a couple of times. And which woke me up. Uh, the first thing I did was go into the kitchen and mix me up a cup of salt water. And I, and I warmed it up too because it was a little chilly that day. And I actually like drinking warm salt water like what I'm drinking now. Um, so I warmed me up. I took about probably about eight ounces of water, a cup. And I added a quarter teaspoon of salt, pink Himalayan salt to it. And I just took it to the head. Now I'm used to drinking lots of salt being that I'm eating the ketogenic diet so my body could handle it and yes it did make me use the restroom which was fine um, a, f a couple hours later and it wasn't much it was basically that cup that I drank came out really felt a whole lot better that day because I had that that extra salt in the morning now I, I of course I took my snake juice I took another liter of Avion so day two easy breezy felt great energy was on point Cool. Day three, which is Saturday, so I'm off work, and Michelle and I basically got up in the morning, and you know we have our kids. Um, my sister, she's got her daughter, Serene. If you've watched our vlogs, you know, baby girl. Uh, she has, she had a friend of hers over, which we always got a homie with us. If you watch my vlogs, you know that too. So we got the girls ready, we got up and we went downtown and we went to actually the Jepson Museum it was having family day, they have that annually so we went down and took our babies to go look at some of the art and just get out of the house and it's actually really really nice not to have to worry about cooking and making food and stopping and getting something like that's not even a thought now. So quickly into this, now let me say this guys, okay since we talking. I am new to fasting. This is the very first time I've ever fasted prolonged. Fasted really ever. Um, 
So I'm not in a position to be giving advice and I'm definitely not no guru. I'm not no expert on this. I'm just trying to share with you guys what I'm doing and what I'm feeling and going through trying out this fasting snake diet. I don't think I'll ever go back to eating every single day. Like I honestly, at this point, I seriously doubt that. I definitely see having fasting, prolonged fast, eating either every 24 hours, once a, well no, I don't, I, I wanna go eat. I can definitely see doing like eating every other day or eating every other other day <laughs> and, and practicing that. I have never been at a normal body weight for my height and age. And I'm determined to get there. Damn it. <laughs> like I was arguing, not really arguing, but fussing a little bit with one of my homegirls, my coworker, and like to her, she, she's, you know, over the last couple of years, she's watched me lose 100 plus pounds. She and everybody I know has lost me lose all this weight. And to them, they're like, girl, you've done so good. You've done so much. You don't need to lose more. Why you want to be so skinny? But they don't understand the health aspect. And that for me, yes, I want to be sexy and I want to have a certain look. But ultimately, I want to be healthy. I want to be at my optimum health and I know that I can achieve that if I'm willing to work for it and figure out the best optimal way for me now so far I know without a shadow of a doubt that low carb is the way to go for me I cannot my body cannot handle wheat and sugar it just goes berserk so that yes I know <laughs> low carb yes and now because I've been plateaued for over a year and starting to gain a little weight. Now I truly understand that I have to incorporate fasting. And I'm really feeling the power of fasting, even just, this is day four, four days deep, and just seeing how simple it is and how magical it is not to eat. As much as a fat girl I am and trust and believe, I love me some sweets, I love me some fat. <laughs> I love food, um, but I'm learning to love it in a different way and to use it as fuel and to use it to repair my body and to have some enjoyment too because I'm not going to say that we're not going to ever have sweets or enjoy our food, but I'm really feeling like because hopefully I'll have more of an appreciation in a different way for food um, once we get back to eating regularly or at least, you know, eating meals within the week so once we hit seven days deep we'll go ahead and do another video where we show um, our body to comparison for the week uh, I really hope I lose 15 pounds in a week because I know when I started the keto diet coming off of a plant-based diet I dropped 13 pounds in five days but I know that was pure water and I was like around hundred and thirty pounds when I started keto um, now my highest weight is 315 pounds <sighs> and I would never want to go back to that because truly I did not feel good when I was that heavy. My body was hurting. So day four, just drinking my snake juice, the basic recipe. Oh, I did have a shot of um, like a cap full of apple cider vinegar and maybe like half a squirt, not even a full squirt of lemon juice with a little water and I knocked that back first thing this morning. Um, after I used the restroom, which I used the restroom this morning, which I was really surprised um, because we the last meal I had was Wednesday and it's Sunday, Sunday morning, but I had a bowel movement, which was good. So now I'm like, oh, I'm thinking I'm pretty empty now. Um, so I hope you guys found this video useful. We'll definitely be making some more updates. Dude, I'm so excited. And if I haven't said it already, I love you. And I will see you later. Bye, babies.